John ja Morant, rags to riches story here, drafted number two overall by the Memphis Grizzlies. Congratulations to John ja Morant. Nobody pegged him as the number two overall pick, unranked in high school, not heavily recruited. Uh, Murray State gets him, and he becomes the number two overall pick. Uh, the Memphis Grizzlies picking John ja Morant. Your grade for the Grizzlies in taking the point guard John ja Morant on Murray State. I'm going to give it an A because this is the right pick. I mean, you know, once we were watching the lottery and you knew either Memphis or New Orleans was going to be able to select Zion Williamson, you are slightly disappointed when uh, Memphis pops up at number two as opposed to number one. But then after like maybe three seconds, you remember uh, the Grizzlies are going to get to pick second and they're in a rebuilding phase and picking second in this draft with John Moran available um, is a very, very good thing. He has the potential to be a star and with Mike Conley not wanting to be a part of uh, the rebuild and uh, letting the front office know that in as nice a way as possible. Um, this was always the way it was should go down. Move Mike Conley for assets draft uh, John Morant and make he and Jaron Jackson the centerpieces of your franchise going forward. Special player. This past NCAA tournament, Duke had the Friday game. So Thursday was John Morant's day. He stole that day when he had a triple-double mm -hmm. against Marquette. I was in the building in Hartford when he took over. It was awesome. It was one of those experiences that I think no matter what's going to happen with John Morant over the next 5, 10, 15 years of his career, that was really the, the, you know, the culmination of the first part of his story, his origin story, what he did at Murray State. It's been extremely impressive, and we almost never see this. We almost never see a point guard from a mid-major school turn into a top three draft pick. It speaks a lot to Morant's character. You won't really find anyone say a bad thing about him. Really humble. Came up through, and his, his dad has been, uh, has been so consistent in getting him to this point, I want to point out one more thing. When I spoke with his father just a few weeks ago, you know, they would have these training sessions, these basketball pickup sessions in their backyard, and it was it was a communal event. And it is really so much of why John Morant turned into the player we see today. So much sweat, so much of that behind the scenes, a real community feel in a small town in South Carolina. This is great. I think he is a perfect culture fit, GP, by the way, for Memphis. I think this is the absolute best possible situation, passing the torch from Conley, uh, uh, an absolute franchise legend, right, mm -hmm. to Ja. I think he's going to be able to handle that. Well, to that point, sometimes, and Memphis is my home, so I yep. love it dearly, but it's also a small market and not the most attractive sure. NBA destination. And sometimes when you're picking near the top of a draft, you can be worried, does somebody really want to come to Memphis? John Moran's a Southern kid, just yep. like I'm a Southern kid. His big market was Murray, Kentucky. Memphis is going to be the most glamorous place he's ever lived, so it should not be an issue. First player to average 20 points per game and 10 assists per game. Let's go out to Evan Daniels at Barclays Center. And Evan, a lot of what you do is recruiting uh, rankings with 24-7 sports, evaluating players. Why wasn't John ja Morant so heavily recruited in high school? <laughs> Well, there's a couple reasons. One, we never saw him, or if we did, we didn't remember it. He also hit a hit a growth spurt. I, it's one of the coolest stories in this draft, and there's actually some really cool ones. Jackson Hayes has a cool one. Zion Williamson has a cool one. Uh, but John ja Morant, the way he was found uh, by then Murray State assistant James Kane, uh, he was at a random AAU tournament. James Kane goes to get some popcorn, and he stops and he sees this uh, lanky kid j jumping up and throwing down uh, crazy dunks in the layup lines. And it ends up being Ja Morant. He sits down, watches him play. The next day, he brings his boss in, Matt McPan. They offer him a scholarship and end up recruiting him to Murray State. I actually spoke to James Kane yesterday about Ja Morant and, and where he's improved from high school to now. And he said the first thing is he's grown two to three inches. He said he even saw him a couple weeks ago and thinks he's grown uh, another one. But he said the other thing is uh, his mental toughness. He showed up on campus. Uh, he became mentally tough. He put in a lot of time and effort. He said he's always had the athleticism he's always had uh, the skill set and unfortunately I didn't get a chance to evaluate him uh, but he, he certainly flew under the radar and uh, I, I would have loved to have seen him in high school he's an exciting player and uh, I think that they made the right pick here uh, tremendous sophomore season over 24 points a game 10 assists I, I love his playmaking off the bounce I think uh, he's the the best passer in this draft he's a playmaker off the live dribble his vision his ability to whip passes with both hands uh, is tremendous is tremendous and obviously uh, there are a couple areas for improvement you want him to be a little bit better shooter which he did improve from his freshman to sophomore season and you'd like to see him cut down on some of those turnovers uh, but this kid's a tremendous talent he's got the athleticism he's got the playmaking 
playmaking. He's got the facilitating. Uh, I think this is a really good pick. Avery Johnson, you played against uh, John Moran at Alabama. You saw him up close and personal. What did you see from this kid when you played against him? Well, for a kid that was, um, you know, a right-hander, uh, this was the best left-handed passing kid. His left hand is better than most kids' strong hand. And uh, he was just a, a kid that can go left and right, uh, pass with both hands. Um, a lot of times when he made a great pass during the game, he looked over at our bench, and I didn't know whether he was trying to taunt our bench. But later on at a foundation event for pediatric cancer when we ended up at the same event, he said, Coach, I was just trying to impress you because I know how much you love assists. You average 13.3 assists in your senior year at Southern University. He said, I was trying to catch you, Coach, but uh, I couldn't quite catch you. But I know you're somebody, Coach, that loves to celebrate the gift of passing. And uh, I was very impressed with his ability not only score the basketball, his athleticism, his leadership, but uh, his passing ability. John Morant, second overall to the Memphis Grizzlies.